Hi, I'm Gordon Wade at Wade Research. Today I'm going to show you how to assemble a Renegade Telescope. To assemble a Renegade Telescope, like this 18-inch model, basically you do the sub-assemblies first as you unpack it out of the car and put together the parts that uh, easily can go together. So we start here with the ground board. Of course, this is already assembled and really doesn't come apart. Got the feet that go on the ground. It's been uh, holes cut out of it to lightweight the whole thing. And of course, it uh, is on the bearing in the center. On top of the ground board, there are these two slots milled into it with bolt holes. And those accept these bearing supports. The bearings go in here, so we have to put this on first. And these are assembled just with simple uh, hand bolts, hand screws. So basically, you just drop them into the holes and then drop the and tighten these up and that's all there is to it. So now we can set this aside and go on to the next part. The next step is to assemble the mirror surround and attach the bearings to the mirror surround. Basically you just put these two bearings roughly into position and the bearings have a socket, a big socket and then uh, places where the screws are going to go. And then this just sits on there and drops into the sockets. And as soon as that drops in there, you just take the bolt. And just like the assembly of the bearing supports, these just bolt in. And you just snug these down. You don't want to crank them and make them real tight. That's not necessary. Just the, you know, hand tight is all that you need. So that's the assembly of the bearings and the mirror surround. Uh, one thing, normally the mirror cell itself is bolted in here. And that would all be one piece. Uh, for the simplicity of making this video, I took that out so that we could uh, see inside it easier. So that's the entire assembly for the bearings. And now that we've got the bearings uh, together with the mirror surround, this can go on top of the base that we built in the last step. So this is an easy assembly because there's no fasteners. It's just dropped up in there. That's it. On to the next step. The next step is to put the truss poles into the sockets. And these are very easy. The poles just drop into the hole and then you tighten up the little nut. At this point you don't crank down on these very tight. You leave them a little loose because we have to be able to adjust the truss poles on the other end. And now we're ready to put these onto the truss pole adapter ring. I put the upper tube assembly upside down on a pad on the ground and then attach the adapter ring to it. And you have to be careful so that you match up uh, and have the focuser be on the correct side of the whole affair. So I start by putting two on, hold the ring up, and then tighten those two up a little bit so they can't escape. And then come around to the other side and grab the right two. These two go over here. trick is getting the last one in. There we go. Now we just screw it down. Tighten them all up. Again, they don't have to be tight, tight. Now they just snug. The final assembly to put the whole upper tube assembly on the bearings and mirror cell. You want to level this so that it's fairly flat here. It'll kind of stay that way when the mirror cell is actually in there. There's enough weight there so that it will be solid. And the whole upper tube assembly just drops down in place. You line up the holes and once again, hand knot. I usually get the first one started. Keep a hand on the Assembly, my second one. There we have 18 inch Renegade Telescope.